What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back at it again with another video. So in today's video, uh, we, am I turning here? This is SR82. I don't know. Where am I going? Did I pass where I needed to turn? <laughs> I think you were supposed to turn here. Where the f am I? <laughs> Anyways, today we're gonna be picking up uh, some new wheels for the S2000. So uh, we're going headed. We're heading back over to my buddy Josh's house to uh, pick up some RPF ones. So they're 17 by 10, however, so they're extremely aggressive for the S2000. Don't know how they'll fit, but he's giving me a good deal on them, so we're gonna try. No, what the gonna... fuck? How the fuck did I end up here? We are. Anyways, I'm so confused. Like, how the fuck did I just end up here? Oh, and don't mind Ashley. Uh, she's sitting in the back because I am her. Yes, I am her Uber today. So yeah, let's head over to uh, Josh's house and uh, pick up the new wheels. What is it again? This thing looks dope. Uh, 1971 C10. I just finally got the bags to where I like it, so I can. Oh, actually... it's on bags. Oh yeah. It's oh. Bagged. I would air it up, but it literally no, takes no. an hour. No, 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 no. That's too much work. Because literally when you air out, the axle hits the boards and then just pops up. Gotcha. So I like the sticker. Rough drive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, when I first started like getting pieces and parts for it, it, they were all messed up. And I was like, I still want to drive it. I yeah. I put a rough drive sticker on it. So and then it actually get, caught on. You got a wrap in that car? Uh, yeah, the oh. I So I tried with the I front. But because there's so many like curves and stuff in the grill, it literally popped up and then uh, it rubs on the, the fenders. Yeah. So like this, <laughs> so it like ripped the back of it up and then made that oh. curl and then these don't go in good. And well, you can see it, my fingernail literally ripped it. So yeah. I'm gonna have to do a bunch of little pieces in it and overlap them just the right way to make it so then you can't see all the lines. So it looks all together. Right? Gotcha. Because yeah. I, I like that color. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's gonna uh, be a dope ass color for this truck. I actually get a good deal on this company um, because of like working at a wrap company. Um, so I went through a million different purples trying to find one that was the nicest looking one. And this one looks like paint when you're done. Mm -hmm. Like the bed looks better because this has like a weird texture to it because it's yeah. chrome underneath. <clears throat> uh, on this side. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. That the What's the company's name? This is a Nosatech. A nose Oh! I heard of them because yeah. I bought some wrap for the S2K, which you guys it. don't know about. <laughs> but I love this. that's that's the brand that I was gonna get. But wash this thing one time, and I use the brush at uh, the, you know, the Aww. major. No -no. But wrap it's supposed to be when it heats up, all those little scratches and stuff go away. Yeah, and you can't really buff out wrap. Uh, yeah, but you can do like there's like spray waxes and stuff that you can put over it. But for the rest of the truck now, I'm just not going to scrub it with those brushes. No, no. I wouldn't even do it with regular paint. I, would, I don't yeah. even <laughs> look at those things. What's wrong with you, Josh? There's one place that they have like a, uh, it's it's like a sponge brush on the end of it. Oh. So as long as somebody didn't try to like scrub their truck. No, but this, this wrap it. looks the legit like paint. Really like good. it's crazy. And the color is hella dope for this truck. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I can't wait till it's all done, but I also enjoy driving it around with a million different colors. Hell yeah. So are you still going to do the same color for that one? This one, I actually just ordered the blue for it. Uh, and here they are. Thanks to my boy, Josh. <laughs> so these are a 17 by 10. Uh, what are the, what's the offset? Uh, it should be a 45. 45? On the back. So, let's see. Oh, 38. Josh? Appreciate yeah. you, bro. All right, guys. So it is the next day. I pulled the S out. Um, so we're going to test fit these wheels because they're a 17 by 10. Um, it's a little wide for the S2000, but we're going to see if we can make these wheels fit with some 225 35s and some camber. So, so without further ado, let's see what it looks like. All right. So here they are. I'll give you guys a before and after. Damn, I dealt this fitment so well. Such a track stance fitment. Now I'm gonna have to change it. That's the only thing I hate about it. And here's after. So these are a 17 by 10. I forgot what the offset is. Let me double check. The offset is a 38 offset. So 
they definitely poke a lot. I'm gonna have to definitely run like at least, at least three degrees of camber, if not more. I don't feel like doing that. I'll run like maybe two degrees, but more than three is kind of pushing it for me. So I'm gonna see if anybody's willing to trade a 17 by 10 for like a 17 by nine or nine and a half. So, damn it. I know these would be a little bit too wide, but they look so damn good. Well, the fitment looks pretty whack right now because I still got to adjust everything again, but RPF ones definitely go really well with the S2000. But the NTO3s look pretty fucking dope. I like the NTO3s. I definitely do. I don't know. I don't know. Probably put a poll up on Instagram or something. I don't know. I don't know what should I do. All right, guys. So it is now a few days later, and I am glad to announce that I found some new wheels. Well, another set of RPF ones. So these are a 17 by 9 plus 45 offset. So they're going to look really good on. I already know these fit. Just got to grab some tires for them, mount them. I was pretty happy that I was able to find somebody um, on the marketplace willing to trade me my 17 by 10s for these 17 by 9s. So that worked out great. But anyways, guys, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm not too sure when I'm going to officially put these wheels on. Um, I'm just going to have them chilling in the back for a little bit. Next video you see is this car running. So be on the lookout for that. But as always, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.